Mark America, 28 years old, 5'8", 155 pounds, fighting at the Lab MMA. He is the number 36th ranked amateur lightweight in Virginia. Out of 159 fighters who are ranked by Tapology, so that's no joke. This is second fight of 2018. It's second fight at Cagezilla. It, a savage knockout victory over Daniel Gray at Cagezilla 50. And, you know, when you come off of a very big knockout win, you know, a lot of times people don't realize how hard it is to knock somebody out. When you start dropping people in the gym and you start to get that confidence and then you go out and you perform and you put somebody unconscious, it changes you as a fighter because it makes you knowledgeable of what you can do. Now, sometimes you get guys who go out hunt, head hunting, they go out looking for the KO and they forgot what got them to the dance. However, Mark America is not that type of guy. He's well-rounded, he knows he's got power, and he wants to implement that power on his opponent. One of those true mixed martial artists, like like Jacob Olave, um, you know, guys who who come up just seeing the whole package, seeing the whole sport. I mean, I don't know. I was I, I watched UFC one live, and you're rooting for the kickboxer, or you're rooting for you know UFC two. I think it was Fred Edish, who was a right. pure karate style. Yeah. You know, you're rooting for Styles. Styles have gone away. Bruce Lee would love this. It's a very complete sport. A very complete sport. And oh, by the way, if you don't have cardio, nothing else is going to work. Here comes Jacob Alave fighting for Kai Zed and Fairfax. He's recently moved to Florida, training with hard knocks down there with guys like Henry Hoof and Kamara Usman and, and Michael Chandler, like killers down there. Uh, he's his brother is a pro fighter, Alexander Alave, so he's got pedigree. He's seven and four, so he's experienced told me he'd like to keep this fight standing if he can we shall see I mean like you said standing against a guy like uh, Mark America uh, maybe not the best idea uh, but his footwork and his movement you know he, he really good he recognizes that as a pro he'll probably you know as a pro be at 145 but uh, here we are going for the belt at 155 pounds three five minute rounds Beat, uh, beat Yurka Nemechek a few months ago at, uh, or a few weeks ago rather, right here. And there's that number. Oh, look, the numbers have switched. I guess As people the fan are listening predictions to uh, have come in. You think they're commentary. voting live? That's fantastic. Uh, I, you know what? I would still have this probably a dead even 50 50 because this is a tough one to call. You know, the only thing I'll tell you is that uh, Mark America has given up a lot of experience in the cage to Jacob Olave. The difference between four fights and 11 fights is huge, yeah. um, both from a wins and loss perspective. And it's going to be interesting to see how Jacob responds. Because, you know, having that many fights, you've seen other people similar to Mark America, whereas Mark America might not have seen other people as good as or anybody as anybody like Jacob Olave. Anybody before. like Jacob Olave, exactly. Yeah, that clash, you know, and that's, you know, let's look at it. Jacob Olave just made a big move, moving to Florida to train at a gym like Hard Knocks. And listen, when you get to a big gym like that, you're not the next big thing, you know? Yeah. You're another sort of toy to be thrown to all the big cats that already live in that gym. But, you know, there's something about working with guys like that that, that puts you uh, in, in such a confident and well-prepared mindset. Iron sharpens iron. Does it ever. Does it ever. We'll throw Charles, it up to Chris. Yeah, let's go up to Chris. Thank you. 
Michael Goldman explaining the rules. This is a title fight, three five minute rounds. And here we go. This is one of about six fights we thought could be fight of the night tonight. We are right about all of them. Different approach from Jacob. I've actually seen him keep his hands a little higher. More of a boxing stance, but focusing on in and out, moving in and out. Uh, just in these four, short, short few seconds here. But Would you say in and out, you, straight back in and out or circling? Well, he's taking angles, but he's, he's coming in and then he shoots right back out. And both those shots that Mark threw, he didn't stay to block. He just got right out of the way. Look at those hands from Mark America. But really, it was good defense by Jacob also. Yeah. Jacob, yeah, Jacob did a great job there. He rode those shots out, he blocked them, and then he was able to get in. And now he has double underhooks with Mark against the cage. Um, he doesn't quite have a position to really get the takedown. But if he, could, if he could start to angle off, he could get Mark off balance and then work a trip or just go right for a takedown from there. See, now, right now, we can twist him actually down. As a fan, oddly enough, a well-educated fan just said, as Mark <laughs> turned his body, Jacob can then twist him back down, and that actually takes away the leverage because you're, you're going against your spine. Exactly. And that's what's going to bring you down. Look at that. Big shot landed there from Jacob. Now Jacob's putting pressure on him. Good uppercut, though. Mark looked unimpressed by that spinning technique, but it impressed the heck out of me. It did, but you know one thing that... It, <laughs> Big up Look at the inside knee. work. Oh, Look at the work inside by Mark America. Hard knees from Jacob Olave met by hard punches from Mark America. And, uh, and, you know, Jacob lost his footing, and now he's on his back with Mark in full, full guard. You know, we say it all the time, but those logos out in the middle of the ring get a little bit slippery later on in the, uh, in the evening when it's got sweat, all that stuff on it. Other stuff. Although, you know, Olavi's doing a good job of keeping him extended, and now he works his way back up to the feet. Again with that Another elbow. Another spinning the elbow. Out. Wow. Good, but look at good it. movement. Good movement from Jacob Olavi. He's a little surprised America let him up so easily. Yeah, you know, he must that, have felt something that he didn't like. Yeah. Good body shot and the right hand there to follow. Oh, wow. nice knee. Olave saw America sort of lowering his head. Followed a punch with a knee, lots of other knees. America doing a great job of defending. Now, Olave's going to get this takedown here. Has him scooped. Good defense from America, but Olave's just going to suck him right in right here. So, Charles, we were talking to Jacob right before, full mount. before the fights this evening. He said he's been training down in, in Florida. I got to tell you, his intensity level has turned up to about 10 right now. This is the most aggressive Jacob Olave we've seen, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of violence coming out of Jacob Olave, and there's just a lot of power, too. It's just very, it's, it's, a, it's a repetitive power that, that's a lot to deal with. But now let's see, you know, he needs to kind of posture up a little bit. He needs to make some shots count a little bit more. He's, he's got to just take, actually, he's setting up the arm there. Unfortunately, the cage is blocking it, so he wouldn't be able to go for the submission, but... Mm. He's in a dominant position with two minutes left. He wants to hold him here, angle off, and start landing some hard shots. He actually has his brother right now whispering in his ear, telling him exactly what to do. Alex Olave, also a uh, Cage Zilla veteran. Yep. Mark wow. did a great job what of getting him up great there, reversal. just powering through. And now he's landing shots. Very back and forth contest from both guys. You know, the one thing that Jacob has going for him is got, he's got his coaches right in his ear right, telling him exactly what to right do. Right there. That's a great shot of it right there. That's his brother Alex talking right in his ear. And Mark's using his forearm to hold him down. Alex is going to try to wall walk back, look for him to push, push some effort into the cage and start to stand up. Lots of pressure from Mark America, though. Yeah, it's making it very difficult for him to get those hips free and start to move. You're going to see it right here. Now he's got the underhook. He's just got to get that leg clear, just like he did right there. Now it's up to him. Mark's got to be careful not to throw the knee. He's looking for it, but if he throws the knee... Uh, he was waiting exactly. for, the, for the moment to throw it. Exactly, but 
Jacob never gave it to him, and now he's able to get back to his feet. And Michael Dolman was communicating the whole time with his fighter, saying, well, you can't throw that knee yet. He saw what we saw, and now they're back to the feet in the center with 20 seconds left. Oh, no, nice knee. Big elbow. Uh, a big elbow. Another, another big elbow from Alave. And a return shot from Mark. Mark taking some deep breaths. Great first round. Excellent for both guys. And that's so savvy to be in that position to know that he can kind of reposition the mouthpiece and suck some air into his lungs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was, I mean, he was taking some big breaths. But, the, you know. the subtleties that these amateurs are grasping from a very advanced game continue to blow my mind. But, you know, that's evident when you have, uh, when you come from a high-level gym and you have guys who've done it before. They start to impart those tricks on it. It's like when you beat a video game and you tell your younger brother <laughs> or your buddy a couple of things to do and then they finish it in half the time. Yeah, you know, up, it's the down, same down, thing. Left, right, left, right, yeah, left, see, right. you start giving them the cheat codes, right? You start telling them all these small things that they'll pick up on yeah. and that they'll, they'll use that people wouldn't expect to use, right? And that's how you transfer the experience over. That's how the knowledge passes. How the knowledge passes. And when you have a... Look you know, at these exchanges in a replay. from the, Very violent. You know, go for the lynches, com, yes. You know, ending up on your back, getting back up to the feet, hard striking. Oh. I mean, when Jacob comes forward, you really got to have a lot to deal with. Yep. You have a lot to deal with. But some of the punches that Mark America was landing in that mid-range when he got hooks, elbow, uh, hooks uppercuts were, I mean, serious. Yeah, they were, they were devastating. They were de I mean, Mark is a gamer, and, you know, I think he's really learning a lot about himself right now with a guy of Jacob's caliber. I mean, he's, he's hanging right in there, and it's a, it's a back-and-forth fight. Good shot there. That's the second time he's landed that kick to a right hand. But excellent movement from Jacob to get out of the way of the Superman punch. That was a big leg kick. Good. Another jab, big jab, right cross. hand, yeah. Punching his way in. And got Olave moving straight back so he could land that cross. Big shot landed there. Now Olavi actually has the, the opposite leg. Now he needs to transfer side. He's got his legs, his hands locked. He's gonna go and sweep him out right here. Suck in for that double leg. Good defense from Mark. What does Mark, what does Mark do here? He can't do anything can't really do because anything. he was, he, uh, Jacob had his hands clasped, so he was just waiting for the right time. But what he did perfectly was as soon as he hit the ground, he exploded up and he took away the, uh, the advantage. Jacob did a good job of countering. Now he's going to try to get that second hook in. He already has the first one on the right. Jay, you were talking about the subtleties earlier. Did you just see Mark pick his mouthpiece up off the mat and put it back in his mouth while he's got Jacob on his back? I mean, while he's defending a rear naked choke. <laughs> that's, that's some pretty heady stuff. <laughs> now, we, we ended up with Jacob on his back with a body lock, which is definitely going to make it more difficult for, for Mark to breathe. But, I was just going to say, if Mark is able to turn into it, he'll end up in Jacob's guard. Still an eternity left in this round. <laughs> Three and a half minutes. 30 seconds longer than any other round we've seen beside, in, outside of the title fights. The fighters are directly in front of our broadcast position. Again, no better seat in the game than we have right here, fellas. And Mark's doing a good job of keeping his hands on Jacob's biceps, which prevents him from being able to move. And he's landing some hard shots here. Oh, referee Michael Dolman asked for work out of the fighters, and he got it. Good elbows from the bottom from Jacob Olave, and then Mark responds with elbows of his own. There's not a whole lot of downtime in this fight, guys. They are very active. active. Oh, big oh. elbow as oh. Jacob switches sides. Switches sides and catches him. Uh, Ref Mike Dal Dalsham is actually saying it, it, it caught him on the back. Yeah, it looked like it did. And now Mike is giving it back. Big shot landed there from Mike. That second one hurt him. Jacob's trying to ride his legs high. He needs to start to angle off, though, if he wants to get out of this. He's got to start moving. He can't stay here. He's holding him. He's waiting to get stood up, but I just don't think that's going to happen with how active uh, these guys are being. He's sort of throwing glances. But he's landing these. I mean, these are these elbows are tight from the bottom. Now, what I'll tell you is that as soon as he throws those, Mark needs to shoot up. Oh. But now he's got to be careful now. 
Now Mark Stuck, there's a triangle. He's got it tight. That was so quick. Yes. That was so quick to Jacob Olave's credit. And now oh he's landing these hard. He's tapping. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh. Jacob Olave. So quick. <laughs> wow. So fast. I can't wait to see that in replay. That was fast. Very impressive for now, Jacob Olave. Did Mark tap to the elbows or to the triangle? <laughs> Looks like the elbows. You know, he was in a tough position, but the yeah. The elbows were definitely hold, you know, hold him in place as the triangle. He was getting choked and elbow at the same time. It was just, it was so quick. Look at this transition, right here, bam. I mean, we were walking through elbows, and, and Jacob already had the leg trapped and the triangle there, and then he started firing elbows of his own. Yeah. You know, and right here, this is as soon. I mean, there is nowhere for Mark to go. He can't no, block. Can't move. He's getting choked. He's going unconscious. And you wow. actually see him there. He kind of goes out. And you yeah. actually see right there the frame, the, the frame froze. His eyes were actually rolling back. I mean, yeah. he lost consciousness. He tapped at the last second. Wow. Um, it's just difficult. What a as finish. As he's losing consciousness, what he's a getting elbowed. What a finish by Jacob Olave. Very impressive. But, and, a, and a, I mean, let's face it. Mark America did not in, in any way make it easy on Jacob. Very impressive. Mark America's right next to us. He looks okay. What a heck of a performance by both these young men. I mean, these title fights are just... <laughs> one after the other, Unbelievable, Charles. man. Unbelievable. The level of, of skills that we've seen here, you know, it's just wild. And, uh, and a bunch of the Kaizen MMA guys are now coming into the ring. A back and forth fight. I mean, you look at the replays here, and there was just both guys were going uh, with their striking, their wrestling, everything. They were they were really doing it all. I mean, very impressive. I mean, like Chris Fuller said, worth the price of admission. Uh, both these title fights, just fantastic. Uh, amateurs. These look like pro fights. Yeah, it's uh, like we've talked about. It's it's alarming <laughs> the, the level of talent we're looking at right now. Is, I am alarmed. Unbelievable. Mark's taking a moment. His I coaches think, are talking to yeah, him. Yeah, I think yeah. he's okay. I think he's just a little bit upset. And uh, who can blame him after that performance? I mean, what a fight. You know, he's got to feel like at times he was so close, you know. He just he just couldn't get it done. You know, but perhaps off to him. I mean, look, Mark America will be back. He's going to continue to learn, continue to develop. And, and we're going to see these guys just go to the next level because Jacob Olave is yeah. a pro. I mean, and his fifth fight, he just fought a guy with 11 fights. Ladies and exactly. Gentlemen, referee Michael Dolman has called a stop to the action. Three minutes and 18 seconds into the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, for your winner, by tap out, do the triangle choke and do the cage of the Respect shown to both guys, Jacob Olave, our new lightweight title champ. And I guess heading back to Florida to train with uh, with all those killer pros. Yeah, but you know he's doing it with a belt right now. So yeah, that's, that's all right. true. Uh, I don't think that'll make him take it easy on him. <laughs> I don't think so either. But what a moment, you know? Yeah. With Jacob and look and at all the Kaizen thing. crew. Gosh, you know. Good group of guys, hard workers, and uh, and they're reaping what they sow. The team is hurry, and his uh, uh, who are taking a big picture. There's Mr. Doyle, back in civilian clothes.